Today, I will be demonstrating how you can install and use the Security Content Automation Protocol Compliance Checker, or SCC for short. First, we need to download a few programs, which you'll find at https publiccybermil From there, we want to choose the SRGs slash STIGs menu. Under Automation, we want the SCAP item. Here you can download your SCAP client and various STIG benchmarks. We will first get the software which is under SCAP tools. We will need both the SEC 5.10.1 Windows version and the SEC 5.10.1 Unix remote scanning plugin. Next, we will grab the STIG viewer in the SRG STIG viewing tools section. You can download versions 3.x or 2.x based on your needs. I will go with the latest version. As all of them are compressed, we will need to extract them all first. I've also downloaded the STIG benchmarks for RHEL 9 ahead of time. We will first install the STIG viewer on Windows 11. You'll need to choose more info and run anyway to continue. Next, we will install the SEC tool. We will now launch the SEC tool and set it up for the first time. Now you can run it right now against the local machine if you like, but we want to scan a remote rail server for our demo, so we need to install the plugin we downloaded earlier. To do so, first choose Unix SSH Remote Scan, then click Install Unix Remote Scanning Plugin and navigate to where you have placed it. We will now select the hosts or hosts you wish to scan. The first time you do this, you'll need to set up a master password to protect the credentials you will need to enter in order to interact with your servers. It must comply with DISA-STIG standards, so it must be 15 characters or more and you'll need to change it every 60 days. Now, to add our host, choose Add New Host and fill in the following information based on your server. The DNS or IP address, a description, the port for SSH, how you wish to detect the OS, I left mine at SEC Auto Detect, and the authentication type. I set mine to login as my user, then sudo up to root afterwards. Once it is all entered, you hit Test SSH, Save, and Close. Once successfully done, you can close this window. Then you'll choose the STIG stream for your server. For this demo, I will go with RHEL 9 STIG. When you are finished, you are ready to start the scan. This will take some time, so work on something else in the meantime. I have sped up this process by about 12,000% to hurry along.
When you are finished, you have the option to view the results directly from the tool. You can see we have an initial result of 96.33% compliant. This is in part of installing my RHEL 9 server with a STIG security profile on installation, so many items are already resolved ahead of time. Looking at the report, you see details about the findings of the scan, what passed, what failed, and what needs to be looked at manually. You can go into any of these to see further detail along with how to resolve the findings. Now, let's look at our results with the STIG Viewer. Open the Viewer, then in Checklist, click on New. In there, you click on the upper left corner to see the dialog box. You need to choose Import Version 2 Checklist, then navigate to the location of your checklist as shown from the SEC tool we just used. We can maximize the screen to see it's better, and then review the findings. We see 367 completed findings with 14 open findings. You will also notice three tabs at the top with CAT 1, 2, and 3. This is for high, medium, and low findings. You can then use the tool to find what is outstanding on your server and see what is required to resolve these findings. You can make comments on each finding as well and export out the report at the end. Once you finish applying your changes to the server, you can run the scan again to validate. And there you have it. You can now scan and implement security findings based on the STIG benchmarks. I hope you found this video helpful. And I'll see you next time. Bye.